Welcome to Crawfish Traps Volume 2. Now this is Nylon Mesh, which I just finished up a, uh, a steel mesh. I needed a drill, 10 snips, which I still use those for cutting. Still need the zip ties, don't need the drill. This may be the quickest, simplest one there is out there. But this is a uh, quarter inch nylon mesh, uh, three feet by 15 feet. And the trick is to do a three foot by three foot square, which means I should be able to get five traps out of this hardware net. Which means for 20 bucks, I'm probably gonna get five traps out of it which is a pretty good deal. It comes out to be about $4 a piece minus the uh, zip ties. Get this tape off of here. I made it adult proof. First one, we're going to do it by the book, three foot by three foot. I may make them a little larger because I don't know what they're going to catch. And this stuff is, is turn it upside down this way. And roll it all the way across the table. I'm going to drink out of the way. Put that on top. Sharpie's not going to show up on this black at all. And there we go. Three foot by three foot. Now, take it just like we did with the steel mesh traps. Let it overlap about an inch, and then start zigzagging your zip ties to close it up where nothing can get out once it's in. And I'm going about every two inches. And you see it's kind of flimsy, that's because this thing is going to be more like a... Uh, like a coffin or torpedo shape instead of concentral like the uh, like the other steel mesh Once you get down to this end, the very last little slip, you push it all the way down and you put everything together, top and bottom. You may 
you want to do two in the center just to make it that much stronger. But make sure you get top, bottom, and the two sides all together. So you come out with something like this. And then about two, maybe three inches outside that, we're gonna close this bottom up. I'm gonna go three inches. because this is going to be the crawfish inlet. This is where the test driving and this part can be a little tricky. But what you're going to do is you're going to take this corner and you're going to fold it inwards. Like that. And get it down in there as far as you can. Same on the other side so it'll have two inlets. You just take this corner push it. Take this corner, push it straight in and down. And see, I can get my whole hand in there. So you do want to come in here and close, close that up to where it's hard, easy to get in, not so easy to get out. And you want to put one more zip tie there to close that hole up a little bit. Make sure your bait is all the way at the other end, which will be your opening and clean out. This one can be a little tricky. It takes a little fishing. There. Now I can only get about three fingers in there. Once I put that one to push it in, I don't know if you can see the whole size difference. Like I said, this is the fastest, easiest one. You can do it out in the field or in the bush, like as we like to say. It's definitely not bushcraft, you know, I'm using man-made materials and zip ties and tin snips. There are ways to make them out of vines if you were really in a pinch, but it's like prepping. You gotta do a little prepping. like that and then the other end you're going to close it up but you're not going to leave any openings and you can go about every two inches three inches or basically as many zip ties as you have left over which I have four
see there's I can't even get my finger in there so you want to make sure that that's your gauge just keep this in really tight now at some point you're going to want to either throw rocks in here or you can do it from the inside or the outside. You can put rocks in there to weight it down or you can attach a weight. I have some railroad ties, no not ties, railroad spikes. They uh, just did a railroad crossing and it blew my mind that they just threw all that stuff right right there where he pulled it out so I grabbed up uh, 15 or 20 of them from my got a couple friends that make knives and they're more than happy to get the materials and I'm more than happy to give them to them because they may make me a knife So that's it for the zip ties. Now you got this one big opening. You want to close that with something that you can open and close it easy, like a, uh, a twist tie, or you can use zip ties to close it up, throw it out there with your bait in it. But that's pretty much it. It's quick, it's simple. Make sure all your food is down at this end, away from the exits, and hopefully your crawfish won't get out of there. Might even put a couple zip ties in there to open it up more. Probably could have put a, might even get a piece of wire to open it up like this and just zip tie on a, on a heavy piece of wire, piece of band. But this right, this end right here is where you're gonna be able to stick your hand in there and grab them and pull them out. Will you get pinched? Yes, you will. But it's not gonna be, I mean, unless you get a <laughs> lobster size, it ain't gonna be that painful. And you can close this up with a piece of rope tied in a knot that you can untie easily. Zip cord, bank line, whatever. And just, and I've just got that secure just to show you what it would look like. Smell? Bobcat just ran through the yard. How about that? That's pretty much it. So now you've seen two decent crawfish traps and as soon as I get them out, I'll shoot some video of loading them up and see what we catch. Good luck out there.